secant of alpha equal to minus 5 over 4 and tangent alpha equal to 0. So those two things is really telling you which uh, quadrant the angle is at. So what you need to do is check the quadrant at first. Tangent alpha is less than 0 over here, and tangent of alpha is less than 0 over here. Secant alpha is 1 over cosine of alpha. So you're looking for 1 over cosine alpha is less than 0. So cosine alpha less than 0 here, and cosine alpha less than 0 here. So obviously quadrant is number 2. Okay. Once you decide that, then what you have to do is draw up the triangle. Uh, secant of alpha is equal to minus 5 over 4. What I usually do is convert it into cosine alpha because it's 1 over that. So it's 1 over 4 over 5. Okay. So once, let's get over here. And cosine here, if this one is alpha, then this leg is minus 4. This one is 5 using Pythagorean theorem. It's 25 minus 16 or 3. Okay. So once you have this, the rest of them are pretty easy. Uh, take cotangent of alpha, and that's equal to the minus 4 divided by 3, and then cosecant alpha is 1 over sine alpha, and so it's equal to 5 over 3. All right? Hope you have a confident day.